Hello, I'm Gosha from Cosmic Agency. How are you doing? Today, a very fast update. Um, this, this video was supposed to be already about uh, introduction to stale navigation, which I'm working on right now. But I have a very, very short update about the Amazon forests and the fires. Uh, because it was something that we talked about with uh, Zvaru recently. Very short, so I didn't want to wait with this because this is the, the fresh news right now. Uh, and later I want to just focus on the stellar navigation. So uh, we had a, a very short chat with Zvaru about this where she basically explained that fires are very complex things. It's never just a loose cigarette, especially when it comes down to these big, big, big fires. And she confirms that they were, were, are artificial. They were caused by humans, uh, not natural. And basically it was caused, I'm reading, by clearing for crops and not because of natural causes. It is to take the naturalists out of the way to be able to freely use these hectares for the invasive agriculture of the large companies that promote veganism. Now here uh, the subject of veganism is quite controversial and we will explain this more in detail uh, later on but it's a very quite a, quite a complex subject and what's behind um, the larger movement of veganism. Um, well, she continues. They use combustion accelerators as in Notre Dame in Paris and beyond a certain temperature rain and water become hydrogen and oxygen feeding the fire. This is known even to the firefighters. That's what happens. And it reaches those temperatures by the use of accelera accelerators such as nanothermite as in Twin Towers. People do not understand but the water burns past certain temperatures that are not so high. It becomes hydrogen and oxygen. It burns. If you heat the steam, for example, to a certain temperature, it separates into hydrogen and oxygen, and that is explosive. Rain and water becomes hydrogen and oxygen feeding the fire. Not only that it burns, it explodes. Uh, and here she was giving a chemical formulas um, behind this because I didn't understand, you know, I am not a, of, a, of a technical and uh, chemical mind at the moment. Uh, so I, it, it, I'm just reading parts of the conversation. I know it may sound like, you know, it's not a maybe complete pi picture and for sure it's not. Uh, more could be said about this subject, just like about any other subject pretty much, but I'm just just giving you an update or um, parts of our conversations uh, about this. Then she also says here one sentence, when the molecules are dense, as in H323 or 321, for example, this is heavy water, radioactive material for the manufacture of atomic bombs. The Nazis were testing this. Um, I'm just repeating, I'm just repeating. Uh, if you understand these subjects, you understand more how it fits with the whole subject here. Um, so basically the fires are caused by artificial means. Uh, that's 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 Varu's um, conclusion about this. And they have access to the data that, that has the access to stuff. So, uh, then we also had a, a short conversation with Aneka. Well, actually, Robert had a conversation with Aneka, and he passed me this this uh, this paragraph. This is Aneka's take also on what's happening in the in the Amazons. Um, she says many fires are caused by non-human entities as well, for purposes of planetary and population engineering, um, referring to the rep reptiles and all that. Uh, however, it has to be remembered that the human, as a species, is intertwined with that of other races, extraterrestrial races. So sometimes it's, you cannot know where one ends and the other begins. As we said before, we are here such an agglomeration of different ET races 
and sometimes it's very difficult to distinguish one from another. But she also explains, Aneka, this problem of the fires caused by non-human entities has already been shown by Salvador Freixedo in his books, for example. It's not new. Um, nature, because as we explained, nature in faraway places is basically 5D. Also because there's no one there, so we don't bring our 3D perceptions into the 5D environment, basically making it 3D. So the nature in very, very far isolated places is 5D and they refer to them as 5D bubbles uh, within 3D. And so nature in those jungle places and isolated forests are like 5D bubbles within 3D. Therefore they, the regressive races, therefore they must destroy large amounts of forests to help conserve low planetary frequency vibration levels. That's also another reason why uh, some disasters like this uh, are caused um, basically to destroy these 5D bubbles within our 3D matrix. That's basically it. Thank you so much. By the way, uh, we, me and Dale Harder, we did the interview on Moore show with Kevin Moore. It's on YouTube. I think it's going to be released tomorrow sometime. So if you are curious, uh, check it out. Um, more show, okay? Kevin Moore or Moore show. The links under this video. Thank you so much. And the next video, prepare yourself for the next video because it's going to be a metaphysical training. Thank you and until the next video. Bye bye.